Hello and welcome back where I would like to try and create one of your first fully working animations in PowerPoint. And we could either create a new slide and try to create an animation or just work with the slide we already did. So let's assume that you have a slide like this. You don't need the overlay, just we will animate this box here. And now if this box, if I would press Ctrl or Command G, if this would be grouped, this would be one object and one animation could be applied to it. But if it's separately like this, so the box is separately and the text is separate, you can animate the, the text as one and the box as, as the second item. Okay, so let me try and animate the middle. Once you want to animate something, you always go to the animations tab and I would like you to do the same. At first, we would like to animate this box. And how I approach this, I usually click around with a few animations to get an idea. And most of the times I already have something in mind and the floating doesn't work, the wipe, the wipe could be okay, but I believe that the split would be really nice if it would split from the middle or sp split to top and bottom. All right, so go to animations, click on the box and select split. Now select the effect options and try horizontal out and vertical out. Which one do you like better? Horizontal out like this and vertical out. I kind of like the vertical out because it, it can take a bit more time. All right, so now after I have this first animation, this initial animation, I would like to open my animation pane. I'm doing this because I can always preview the animation here. Okay, it's too quick for my taste. I'll raise the duration to one second. Perfect. I'll also set this animation to start with previous. This will automatically make it zero. So when this slide starts, also this will start to animate. Let me show you. You can see if the slide fades in, it automatically starts to animate. Now we need to do something with the text and I'll show you here a very, very, very cool trick. So let us take the text and let us make the simplest animation you may think, which is fade. All right, right now you have two animations. I will select right click on the text animation and I will select also with previous. Now, if I play it from, right now they animate together and there is like no distinction between the two animations. So we need to take the second animation. You need to delay it by, by a bit and maybe raise the duration to one second. Now let's go back and let's start play from and see what happens. A very nice animation, but I would like to give this text a last touch. For that, I will double click here on the text animation. I'll go to the effects options and what is beautiful here, if you are animating text boxes and you are using the simplest fade animation, you have the ability to select if the text should be animated all at once by word or by letter. Let me select by letter and show you how beautiful of an animation it will create. Okay, now let's preview what we have. Oh, sorry, I didn't select by letter and let me show you how beautiful of an animation this will create. I'll maybe lower the percentage of the, the words to like 6% and boom, it's so beautiful. The animation gets a little bit extended, but the text flows into the screen from left to right. If you want to be even a bit more fancy, I would even select this overlay which we have in the background and maybe give it also something. Like if you have no idea, you can add animation and select more entrance effects. And I would like it to grow from the left corner to the bottom corner. I'm sorry that the animation gets so complex, but it's so much fun. When, once you are in it and you are animating those things, uh, you want to give it always the little extra touch. And I will just check what I have. 
maybe I'll take the strips because I know they flow for the entire screen. Okay, I have the strips or the stripes. I don't really know. I think it's strips mm, and make it right down. Okay, as you can see, we should always select with previous. This time I will give it no delay because I would like it to start the entire slide and I'll extend the duration maybe also to one second. Okay, so I'll take this as first and uh, I think the overlay should be should be the first animation and this text box and text should be like a bit later. So my last adjustment here will be raise the duration, I mean the delay, raise the delay. So in the end I would have three animations. The background would animate, this box would animate and the text would animate one after another. Let me press F5, let me show you the end result and I hope that you will be able to replicate something like that. Do not worry about it when something doesn't work for you because I would like you to get familiar with animations, to open up the animation pane and to click around and try to change on click, with previous, after previous, change the duration, change the delay. This will learn you the most important things when it comes to animation. A really simple but effective and nice animation. Animation takes practice and I have more of content uh, which is going much much deeper when it comes to animation because this requires time and practice and examples and this is just one example and it might be overwhelming at the beginning but I'm sure you will get along with animation pretty fine. Now try it out yourself, try to make this animation and I can't wait and I hope that you will have plenty of fun doing so.